Hi, welcome to uh, video number 25. This time there's no real hardware involved. It's a basic function of axes and O's that it's got uh, a speech recognition capability. So I've explored, explored that over the last couple of days, uh, getting it so that I can uh, do the speech element of contacting ATC. Uh, I'll just talk you through it very quickly because it's really quite simple. So the first thing you need to do really is set up the speech recognition if you haven't got that set up already and the easiest way to do that is in the control panel and quick search for speech and click on the green speech recognition here. Don't be tempted by the sub menus here because there's quite uh, a few options here. Um, I've, there's loads of uh, videos on YouTube explaining this but the process is it doesn't, don't go top to bottom. Set your microphone up. The first thing you do is tell it which type of microphone you're using. I'm using a desktop microphone. Click on next and you'll see that it goes uh, into setting up. Um, the, it sets up a, an automatic gain control in fact is what it does. So desktop microphone next and, and it uh, gets you to read some text and it gets the level of your voice and uh, your gain control. So set up the microphone first of all and then train your uh, train your computers to understand you better it's got a number of exercises you read through various scripts and it learns your voice and in the speech tutorial it also tells you how to uh, correct mistakes so just go work your way through there and start using speech recognition so you can set that up uh, again plenty of videos on um, youtube that you can see to get that set up but it's really worth going and doing it in word a couple of times and correcting some of the words in case it mishears you and get that working and then it's over to axes and o's um, a couple of things you, you really need to do firstly is to set up uh, a push to talk button I've got a red button on my Logitech keyboard uh, well, Logitech Yoke, and it was by default set that the red button, the push to talk button, was set to turn the um, autopilot on and off. And I don't need that because I've got autopilot on and off on my MIDI controller, so I can deallocate that. So into your control options, into Logitech Yoke, uh, discover where uh, what's connected to your push to talk button, and then. Uh, Unallocated, remove that allocation so that it's not going to do that function anymore. You don't need to then uh, do anything else, you don't need to allocate any action to it, so it's completely unallocated. Um, I've got, already got them programmed in here, but I'll show you how, how I did it. So, clicking there, you've got two events the key down event, so what, when you hold it down, what should it do? And in the axes and those options, you've got a voice recognition section and the on is push to talk on so you double click on that and of course you've got push to talk off so that's allocated you then just have to allocate the device and your device won't appear here when you click on there but if you press the red button now on my system this is flight yoke system so that's fine and button one that's all allocated and just click add and that's it. So it won't listen to background chatter, it won't listen to talking to anybody else uh, until you hold the button down and it just uh, recognises your voice then. The next items are to allocate the ATC controls to it. So if I go into the flight simulator and let's bring up the ATC menu, there we are. Normally I have this on a second monitor. Uh, if we get some avionics going. Now I turn off the master caution. There we are. Let's get rid of that noise. Okay, so uh, you know the uh, ATC menu comes up with option one, two, three, four, five. I've just got it programmed so I can just hold it down and press the number. You can allocate whatever phrase you like to any function pretty much in uh, axes and O's. I know that there are people who have allocated it to uh, voice control their lights or voice control the gear down, but I don't think that's particularly realistic. 
In fact, I don't even want to use it to tune my radios. That's built in now to my MIDI controller. I just uh, turn the appropriate controls to tune it in. So I really want to use it just for the speech element. But this is how it's done. So I've, you can see I've got double entries here for uh, ACC menu option one. Uh, the top one here is, that's it, uh, set for my X-Touch Mini. And then make another allocation. And this time it's, again, choosing from here. So it's in the Aircraft Instrument Events. And you can do a, a filter for ATC. Menu one, double click, drop it in there. That's the key down event. And then when you do the drop down here, if your voice control is active, there's your voice. You click on voice and then you type in the phrase. So I've checked that out in Word. I say the word one and it doesn't do a digit one. It does the word one. So I've, uh, I've typed in one. Click save and it should be there. So let's show it in operation. Let's, as I said, this would normally be on a separate menu. And if I hold down my push to talk button, one. And Echo you see Golf, it's taken up from Romeo, one. Traffic Cessna Golf, Bravo, Mike, 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 is taxiing to runway 26. Let's try a different one. Let's do number six. Six. Echo Golf, Tango, Romeo, Traffic Cessna Golf, Bravo, Mike, 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 taking off runway 26 South, departure. Or change my mind. Let's do option three. Three. Echo Golf, Tango, Romeo, Traffic Cessna Golf, Bravo, Mike, 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 taking off runway 26 right, touch and go. One. So I haven't got my push to talk button down. One. Nothing happens. Hold it down. One. Echo Golf Tango Romeo Traffic Cessna Golf Bravo Mike 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 is taxiing to runway two six. And that that's it really. Uh, it's, it's as easy as that. So it's not a difficult thing to set up, and I think it does add a little bit more to the immersion that. Uh, not reaching for buttons, reaching for the keyboard every time you want to talk to an air traffic controller, you uh, press your talk button and call out the number. So I think I'm going to stay with that. I do quite like it. Okay. Uh, not sure when or what the next uh, video is going to be about. Perhaps it's time to move on to uh, a different uh, version of uh, an air this aircraft or another aircraft. I'll leave you hanging. Okay, see you in the next one.